Uh, she's not wearing it full time now. I think she's. I think the plan is for her to only wear it whenever she's actually talking to the dude. Something like that. She's not wearing it now. Now. So she's going to use the hijab to catfish the guy into marrying her. And then once she has the ring on her finger, she'll go back to being her normal train wreck self. And he'll be stuck with her. First time I've heard of a reverse marriage scam. But I'm not surprised coming from her. If she goes there and marries him, there she can't go back to her train wreck self. That would be very dangerous. And if they come to Canada, he just wants the sponsorship and then citizenship anyway. So they are catfishing each other. They deserve each other. She deserves everything she gets and more at this point. LMAO. Karma will get you. Foodie will scam that scammer. And as a friend slash roommate, you don't say something to her? I guess not when they pay everything for you. Chantal wouldn't listen to a word he says anyway. She probably looks down on Pete's to begin with. One of these days, we're going to see her wring his neck on life for giving up her grift. His phone went off at one point and I was like, uh-oh, you're in trouble. LMAO, every time he does this, I wait for a shrill peep in the background. So it's a prop we all assumed. She's so gross. Of course, Foodie is a troll. But are they still moving to Mansion? I guess it depends on if she moves to Kuwait now. Lol. Lol, I'm all for the Kuwait bees. Me too. I take Kuwait over a mansion any day. So gross. Ma'am, this isn't a costume party. What a sicko. Get the fucking personality, Chantal. This ain't cute anymore, just absorbing whatever nationality of the guy who's conning you next. It's amazing how Pete loves to preach and virtue signal constantly, but it's all okay when it's Chantal. He's so pathetic. Don't you love these two smart asses? Everyone in this house needs intervention, ASAP. Always telling her secrets. Someone asking why he isn't packing. I wonder if she'll wear it while they are video sexting. I really hate this woman so much. I think he's lying. She's going to rage at him now, I bet. This is so fucked. No, 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 my god. And here's the truth. Thanks, Pete, for always proving what a piece of trash Chantal is. Now, who's gonna send this clip to Mr. Man? No, lol. LMAO, I knew he would fucking tell on her. It's so obvious. There was absolutely no buildup in her hijab journey. I mean, one day ago, she's nasty and raging. You are morally bankrupt, foodie beauty. Chantal is on a video deleting spree. Look at the gaps between her uploads. She has deleted over 200. She was at 2.1k videos, now 1.9k. I don't know why she's bothering. We already have the worst, uh, best ones archived. Anyway, Chantal, the internet is forever. Love that for you. She's removed almost half a million views. And then another screenshot, this time by Queen Nader El Shami, displaying what was actually privated and what was deleted, if there's any difference between those two. Interesting the vids she chose to delete. Is there a pattern to the deleting? Yeah, mainly her raging, getting high, boasting about having sex with many men, including married ones, stuffing her face and talking about wearing her hijab as some sort of test to see what it was like and putting on a character because she needed views. Isn't that all of her videos though? Regarding Chantal's beau and why he might be living in Kuwait. But first, let's show the tweet where Peggy Hill was replying to. It is actually a screenshot of a comment wherein Mary Beth Wiley asks, 
Can anyone elaborate on this comment for me? What does this person mean? As a person living in the Middle East, UAE, and as an American, I can say this will end so badly for her, not understanding the language, nor the customs of this part of the world, and as a Syrian working in Kuwait with an apartment, not what she thinks or is being told. His Facebook lists Dara'as where he's from. Dara'a was decimated by Bashar al-Assad in the Syrian uprising slash civil war. Salah isn't working in Kuwait. He most likely fled to Tara'a to Kuwait as a refugee. Syrian refugees live slash lived in camps and weren't exactly welcomed with open arms. Like many mass refugee situations, there is discrimination, meaning Salah doesn't have some cushy job or nice apartment in Kuwait. My guess is that this is probably why he lists his occupation as YouTube and PUBG mobile gamer. Disclaimer, I am in no way an expert on the Syrian civil war. I just read a lot. The Syrian people are beautiful, kind souls. War is horrific, especially under a dictator. For anyone that wants to learn more about it, this is a really great documentary. The Dara Isra area is also one of the places in southern Syria where Orthodox Christians, the religion that was there before Islam came in, are prevalent in the population. You have Eastern and Oriental Orthodox Christians there in numbers, along with the Eastern right fix. One another. Now, my plan is to have, as I'm a Canadian, have a homestead here, and I will never forget about Pete's and my cats. So I'm planning on dealing with the move, getting all settled in and everything like that. And then possibly in the future, I'm not sure exactly when, one day you will see me in a video where I'm already in another country. But I'm not planning on moving to another country, just taking up and packing up and, and leaving my whole life behind here and my whole existence here, forgetting about who I am as a person. That's completely not my goal. And I think people who truly know me know that. I realize in Canada here, I have so many responsibilities to my loved ones, to my family, to you guys. And honestly, let's just be honest, you guys know if we actually do bees overseas, it is going to be tip top quality content. I, th I hope that you guys are excited with me in this because I'm so excited. There's so many things to do and I feel like, you know, we can go to cinema, we can explore the different um, landmarks, the history, the food, the culture, everything about it. And it's going to be such a wonderful experience. And going forward, I just feel super excited about life. And these changes have come really fast for me too. My head is spinning as well, and it's going to be what's good for me. And at the end of the day, that's what I always need to try to do. Do I always do that? No, absolutely not. At the time, do I think that's the best decision for me? Yes. So what to expect going forward? I hope Mr. Man is going to help pay the mansion rent because she sure won't be able to. Pete's don't unpack when you get there. That way, you'll be ready for eviction or part due. Wait till he sees her in person and her true weight. Will this last? Probably not. Tip top quality content. We have been blessed with that indeed. And that's just how I operate. I'm actually really serious about being very respectful to the culture. This is still very, very new for me and I really appreciate your patience. And if I do anything to disrespect any culture or religion, please know I do not do it with intention and it, I really apologize if it is a result of my ignorance in any way. I will do a video on my beliefs on the hijab and dressing moderately in another video. But overall, as you will see, there won't be too many changes that you probably won't miss the things that I will be changing. And if you do, well, maybe you really didn't want the best for me in the first place. But again, this is all about what I want for my life. It always has been and it always will remain that way. I feel like you guys will think maybe this video looks a lot rehearsed. It is a little more rehearsed than my usual content. So at first it will be weird and take some time to get used to. But at the same time, I want to start doing things with more intention. And I think this is actually really good for me. I feel good. I don't feel oppressed in any way. I feel absolutely like I'm making a right choice. So yes, this is going to be a very different foodie beauty for you guys. But at the same time, I hope that it's one that you will welcome with open arms and we will have a lot of 
a lot of fun. Again, I think this is really good for my mental health and for my privacy. And it is time for me to start making these changes that I talk so much to death about with you guys and you're frustrated for me. And so here you go. <laughs> I actually like how I look more like this covered up than with, with everything hanging out for the world to see. I feel like I'm respecting myself more. <laughs> So I hope you guys understand that. I don't expect everyone to agree with it. We don't have to agree with one another on our viewpoints. We're not expected to, but again, please be respectful of one She cut the long nails too. She never intends to be caught disrespecting other people or their culture is what she means. Hashtag foodie beauty fully intends to do it. She just doesn't like that people realize it and call her out for it. Me, me, bloody me, she keeps forgetting who is paying for her to do nothing but obsessing about me. This won't last. She cleaned? She has completely changed herself for this dude that she has known for three days. Changed her clothes, her head covering, her nails, now her channel and content. And we thought Nada would take everything. Comments off again. Lol, she will be back. She's changed her mind. If she wasn't, she would have refunded her members. I hope they all cancel their memberships. You know she won't. They all should, but some won't. She's again taking money without consent. She is so lost in life that she has taken on someone else's values and culture. She needs to figure out who she is as a person and not put her identity into a man who is nothing more than the flavor of the month. I agree with everything except its flavor of the day. She'll be super broke without OnlyFans and no live streaming. It's not gonna last long, lol. Guy's already controlling her. He must have been fuming when he realized what her live chat is about. Pia Chantal is the worst. Women died for the rights of other women, yet she gives it up for it in a heartbeat. I can't watch her in the hijab. I just want to rip it off and tell her to get a grip. God's sake, woman.